When we think of street safety, cars and traffic come to mind, but what happens when the hazard is the sidewalk? A viewer wrote to us about this very problem. CBS 2's Elle McLogan covers Queens and takes us to Richmond Hill. Carol and Jack Wolf, both cancer survivors, have lived in the same house in Richmond Hill for 50 years. There's nowhere they'd rather be. We have people from all over the world here. You couldn't ask for better neighbors. They say living here has just one downside. When the city planted a tree with a beautiful canopy overhead, it created a dangerous problem underfoot. These ridges, which look like they're about three inches high now and growing. See the rear wheels? It's stuck. It's stuck. Roots are lifting the sidewalk, creating a trip hazard for the neighborhood's many children and seniors. I don't want anybody to get hurt. And causing anxiety for Jack Wolf, who wears a prosthetic leg. Well, I get very nervous when I come out to go anyplace. The tree we love. I don't want the tree to come down. I just want my sidewalk fixed. Again and again, the couple has appealed to the city, which pledged to help and added them to a wait list. They've now been waiting more than a decade. So much for promises. What do you make of, of that wait time? I think it's outrageous. Public Affairs Council Corey Birak says sidewalks damaged by roots of city trees are now the responsibility of the Parks Department, which simply doesn't have the bandwidth to clear the long wait list. Um, the city has cut back on the Parks Department for years. In the meantime, you have a, a lack of safety as a result. We reached out to the Parks Department, which says it plans to repair the sidewalk within the next fiscal year. The city says the Wolves have another option. They can apply for a tree work permit, hire their own contractor, pay up front, and file a claim with the Comptroller's Office for a reimbursement, which begs the question, how long could that take? That would cost me a lot of money that I, I don't have to do. For now, the Wolves will continue waiting for a level sidewalk and peace of mind. In Queens, Elle McLogan, CBS 2 News. Elle is our community reporter covering Queens, and this story came to her through a tip. If you have a story in the borough to share, you can send an email to queenstip at cbs.com.